Duke ice cream machine. Pressure switch changing day. So I don't know if you can see this on the right side back there. Uh, that's funny what it does with the camera. So on the very back right side of the barrel, right there is the inside of this pressure switch. They look like this. This is an old one we've got here. So this is what we're changing today. And we'll go through the nuts and bolts of that. All right, so there was putty all in here. Uh, I pulled it and set it aside. They did send us a new block of putty, so hopefully I won't have to reuse. But you can see this sensor it just has white to white, red to red, so that's pretty simple. Powers off to the unit. We're gonna just get that out of the way. Uh, inside, what they send us is the new sensor, the locking, and this tiny little Allen key, which you have to have because you'll see on this nut, once it goes on, there are three little tiny Allen keys to lock it in place so it can't loosen up. The real nightmare of this is the shape because the barrel is rounded. So if it doesn't seat just right, it's not gonna seal. Okay, so those loose, we're gonna try and see if we can. Once you get it started, I can do it. There we go. See, there's a rubber o-ring see the angle so i actually had it marked as to exactly where the horizontals need to be we'll get into that and then this is going to push into the barrel This is the new one. Uh, we want to take caution to not press the head. It actually came with a protector if we wanted to do that. So I don't know if you can see the curve of this. Obviously it's because this has to seat on a curved barrel. So I've taken the sides, if you can see the, the egg shape of it. So these are the horizontals and I've marked those with notches. Uh, and then I put a separate mark on the top so I can tell that when I slide this through and feed the wire through, um, I can, once it's in, make sure it's seated properly because if this isn't, and then on the flip side, the, the nut that's here, that goes on it. So if this ends up, when you tighten the nut, cock in a little bit, then it doesn't seal properly you put it all back together, you fill it with sanitizer and it leaks. And you don't get to test that, like there's no way to test it until it's back together. And then once it's back together and leaking, you have to take it all apart, dry it all out. Uh, it also comes with uh, silicone, where we put a small bead of silicone around the front. So I will do that and then we'll actually do the install. All right, I got my silicone in place. I'm gonna go ahead, orient it top. I'm gonna try not move my fingers we're gonna go all the way back so for those of you with biceps this is gonna be a problem because I don't know oh I can feel the wires coming back to me hang on one second here it comes the wires can you see them no no hang on yeah, just the wire harness get it out there there you go too much. Hang on. gotcha this again I have to be careful because I'm not I can't press the barrel yeah face okay can you pull that through gotcha all right next one here's where our marks are important 
So you see the eye I put on the top and the two sides. So I can pull this through. And in theory, that is seated properly. So this is the old one. Hang on. I grab the new one and I'm gonna do the same thing. Looking at the curve of the barrel, right? I want the long ends to be up and down, I think. Which means this is my side, and this is my side. You're not gonna be able to see it, but if you turn this little by little, you can kind of feel where it separates, like it's separated a little bit, and right there, it's kind of, it's a bit tight. So, I feel like this isn't pulled through yet. Based on I can't see threads, there's an O-ring on this gasket, or on this sensor. There we go. Okay, and now the new ring. The concept is not hard. I have had to change these every year because they've been terrible. Um, right, and so you can see like the process isn't hard. It's just a nut and it's this and that. It's now getting this to tighten without spinning the inner, which I can still see my mark is here on the washer. So I got my I got my middle finger kind of on that inner ring while I'm spinning this. Okay. And you don't want to go crazy with this. You don't have to. There's O-rings holding everything. If it seals, it seals. I learned to do this through tech support also. Um, I was on the phone with tech support. They allowed me to be the technician to do it. They talked me through it. It's not a... When they send the technician out here from these places anyway, half the time that's what they're doing. The technicians are calling the engineer or the actual tech support going, hey, so now what? Um, all right, so my lines on my sensor are still pretty good. My marks on my washer are still pretty good. It's here, so that's horizontal. It looks pretty sealed up. So let's let that silicone seal and see what happens. So I reached my arm in like this, and I was able to put my thumbnail behind that front plate so we knew it wasn't seated all the way. So John continued to tighten this nut. Uh, he made sure the inside bearing didn't spin and he tightened and tightened until my nail wouldn't fit behind it anymore. So we're just gonna let the silicone harden up right now. Obviously these wires need to be, we're gonna reconnect them and then we'll zip tie everything together so nothing can get pulled into this pulley. Uh, and then we'll fire it up, fill it with sanitizer and watch for leaks. All right, we're all back together here. Sanitizer, the magic moment. We'll turn the beater on, turn the pump on. Actually, I'm gonna turn the beater off because I don't want the noise. So remember before our pump wouldn't shut off. So we'll see twofold if if it's gonna leak, it's gonna leak right here. Did the pump shut off? So the pump's off, so in theory we're at pressure. We are, I'm sorry, we are at pressure, pump came on. No leaks. Outstanding. Okay, so let's do one more thing. Would you trade off, take that? So when you actually read the technical bulletin, which I didn't do the first few times, and it came back to bit me, you may have to come here. After you install this, so we've zip tied the wires up so they're out of the way. 
But they want you to take silicone and put it right here, a big glob of it. And they want you to seal up the wires with it because condensation and moisture is gonna possibly get in there and uh, short out the wires. All right, let's clean off the silicone is dripping. So they gave us a block of the insulated sealant. So what I found easiest is just like kindergarten. All right, and we'll take it and we'll wrap it around there. The idea is obviously that barrel is like zero degrees, six degrees. And so you saw the exposed metal. We don't want it fighting with the heat that's in this cabinet. There you go. First shot, no leaking. Duke pressure sensor change. Appreciate it.